This is a trigger warning that this content might not be appropriate for everyone. It might be offensive to actual assault survivors. Viewer discretion is advised. So now let's talk about what is going on with Jamie Foxx. He is being sued for actual assault. It seems like with this new Adult Survivors Act that has been activated in the state of New York, a lot of victims are coming forward and suing their alleged abusers for things that happened years ago. If not due to this new law, this could not have happened in the state of New York. And there was a time frame for the lawsuit to be filed within. And that was by November 23rd of this year. So the time has been expired. So the time has currently expired, but these people have gotten their lawsuit in before the time expired and this seems to be what happened in the jamie fox situation so according to tmz jamie fox sued for actual assault not another person being sued for actual assault what is going on in holly weird so according to this jamie fox is being accused of a rooftop actual assault that allegedly happened eight years ago in new york city so reportedly according to the lawsuit that was obtained by tmz jamie fox was at catch nyc and roof in august of 2015 around 11 p.m when the plaintiff arrived to be seated and the rooftop lounge and barge so she noticed jamie one table away and it is said around 1 a.m that the plaintiff's friend asked jamie fox if he'd like to take a photo with her and the plaintiff the alleged victim she claims he said sure baby anything for you and seemed intoxicated at the time she claims he took more photos and commented wow you have that supermodel body you smell so good and told her she looked like gabrielle union oh so she is a jane Doe. But this gives us an idea of what she looks like. A female, perhaps, of African-American descent is what I am thinking. So it says that Jane Doe claims Fox pulled her by the arm to the back area of the rooftop, where he allegedly placed both hands on her waist. This is a trigger warning that this content might not be appropriate for everyone. It might be offensive to actual assault survivors. Viewer discretion is advised. Move them under her top and started rubbing her breasts. Now, this should have been a sign for her to run for the hills. But you you know some people are so shocked they probably just don't know what to do so it goes on to say that she claims she attempted to step away and notice a security guard and others who saw what had happened but they chose to walk away so this seems to be what happens in many of these celebrity cases many people are around and see what happened but no one is willing to take action against these celebrities apparently allegedly so in the document it is said that the alleged victim claims fox then allegedly slid his hand into her pants and put his fingers on and in her oh my goodness trigger warning for people so we saw it won't say exactly what he allegedly did but it involves her for jj and her behind parts so allegedly he did the unthinkable she says her friend came over and saw what was happening and then jamie stopped touching her the alleged victim is saying that she was injured and had to undergo medical treatment and suffered pain suffering and emotional distress as a result of the actual assault abuse assault and battery so now to said that she is suing fox catch which i believe is the name of the club and its employees for compensatory and punitive damages so not only is she suing jamie fox she is also suing the club and she's suing employees as well this according to tmz reporting now and during this article it says that tmz reached out to jamie fox but he had not given a statement to them but we're going to take a look at another article because they have posted an update and it seems like he has responded so in an update it is said that jamie fox denies actual assault allegations so what did we expect so jamie fox has vehemently denied allegations he actually assaulted a model pushing back on the claim she's making in a recent lawsuit so this is what a spokesperson told tmz they said that the alleged incident never happened they're saying that the alleged incident never happened at 2020 this individual filed a nearly identical lawsuit in brooklyn that case was dismissed shortly thereafter the claims are no more viable today than they were then oh so did this person file a lawsuit against damian fox in 2020 and the case was dismissed so it still remains to be seen whether this lawsuit will be dismissed or not so this is what is going on with jamie fox he is vehemently denying these allegations that have been levied against him but the question is what is going on in hollywood it seems like there are a number of other men that have been accused of actual assault as well this due to the adult survivors act that has been implemented to allow these lawsuits to be filed and the state of new york let's take a look at some of the men that the lawsuits have been filed against according to complex lawsuits have been filed against diddy mike tyson jamie fox jimmy levine and more who are the more rudy Giuliani, donald trump andrew cuomo but we're not going to list all the names we're just going to talk about a few of the cases here
Reportedly, more men are being sued for extra assault. This according to an article in Complex. Men such as Mike Tyson, Jamie Foxx, Jimmy Levine, and more. And we already know about P. Diddy. This apparently due to the Adult Survivors Act, which was signed by the New York Governor Kathy Hochul in May of 2022. Now, this adult survivors act came to a close this month this is probably why we are hearing about all of these lawsuits that have been filed these people are trying to get their lawsuits in before the window closes and i believe that the window did close on november 23rd of this year it says that as announced at the time the adult survivors acts one year look back window started six months after the date of signing and was applicable regardless of when the alleged abuse happened so this is why a lot of these women are going so far back because it doesn't matter when it happened it could have 20 years ago it could have happened 30 years ago as long as they filed the lawsuit within the time frame they are able to confront their alleged abusers it is said that the courthouse doors were flung open so you can confront your abusers and seek the justice that was too long denied you so this allowed Cassie to file her lawsuit against Diddy although some of this stuff probably happened a number of years ago where she accuses Diddy of R and abuse now even though Diddy has settled that lawsuit he is still claiming that he is innocent and his lawyer has said that the decision to settle is no way an admission of wrongdoing and now others such as la reed and jamie fox faces allegations of abuse as well to name a few as far as la reed it says that an ex arista records exec has alleged that reed actually assaulted her then retaliated against her when she declines his, his advances also it is said that mike tyson faces a lawsuit as well it is said that a woman alleged in a lawsuit this january that tyson violently awed her in a limousine in the early 90s at the time tyson's rep had not issued a statement on the suit so they're saying no statement from mike tyson at this time about these accusations so everything is of course allegedly everyone is innocent until proven guilty it's your girl liz keeping you in the know and as a reminder go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel Tiara Marie wants all the smoke with Carrie Hilson. Says she's gonna whoop her behind once she see her. This according to TMZ. Now why does Tiara Marie want to fight Carrie Hilson? Of all people. Apparently Carrie Hilson recalled a time when Tiara was sitting in the front row at one of her concerts and was feeding her toxic I don't want to be here energy. So why is you gonna sit in a front row seat and act like you don't want to be to the concert? So Carrie Hilson said that it is important for artists to give one another love during performances and tiara was doing the complete opposite so this is what tiara has issue with carrie hilson bringing this old itch up that seems to have happened years ago so it said that tiara didn't take kindly to carrie's recollection of events and then wrote a theory thread in the neighborhood talk comment section and this is what she reportedly wrote she said y'all people gotta leave me alone all right she said people gotta leave her alone didn't hazel e just say something about her and she did not what hazel e said hazel e said that she had went down on her now she didn't say that she was gonna whoop hazel e's behind but that might be the way that she felt but i digress because now we're talking about what carrie hilson said so anyway tiara marie said y'all people gotta leave me alone i don't bother anybody just leave me the f alone so now carrie what's up you, you want to fight or do you not want to fight because i'm gonna whoop your a when i see you i'm sick of you people bothering me you had a whole different story when i was in your face you are a liar biash so it looks like tia marie wants all the smoke with carrie hilson all this because carrie hilson indicated that she didn't like tia marie's energy at one of her concerts so apparently this has had tia marie seeing red first hazel e brought up tia marie and now carrie hilson i guess after hazel e said what she had to say about tia marie then carrie hilson felt like she could do the same but i don't think that carrie hilson is built like hazel e that's probably why tia marie has all the smoke for carrie hilson instead of having all the smoke for hazel e i am just saying it's your girl liz keeping you in the know and as a reminder go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel speaking of the p diddy situation his ex head of security seems to be changing his tune why as roger Barnes, it seems like he was gonna be an ally for cassie with 
with him speaking up about what had went down and what he was witness to as far as the relationship between P. Diddy and Cassie. Now he is making it seems like nothing actually happened. That the fights between Cassie and P. Diddy were just regular fights between a man and a woman. Seems like he is no longer back in the claims of Cassie. So let's go ahead and take a look at what he's saying now. And then once we take a look at what he's saying now, thanks to the YouTuber Tisha Tales that was able to record this information, they will take a look at what he has said before. Well, we thought that he was going to be an ally for Cassie. What y'all don't know is, I'm going to speak my truth. That's what y'all came here for. So now he says that he got to speak the truth without he was speaking the truth the first time. But let's continue. Now I want to know if y'all can handle the truth. I seen Cassie and Diddy fight. Yeah, I seen them fight just like everybody else fight. Just like I fight. Just like y'all fight. So now he's talking about he wanted to see if we can handle the truth. Why didn't you say this in the first place? Oh, but in a part of the video as well, he says that this is not about money. But I don't know if I can believe that. When in his original post, he was indicating how Diddy could eventually pay $100,000 for his son's defense. Allegedly. But see, I'm going to show y'all this ain't about money. This ain't about nothing. What y'all don't know is... This I'm is about my truth. truth. That's what Jack came here for. And so now Roger's page is private. But this is what I was able to obtain before he made his page private. Which was only a few days ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at his Instagram page. Because he posts some very interesting things on his Instagram page. It appears that he is upset with P. Diddy. Seems like he feels like P. Diddy could have contributed to his son's legal team. To get him out of the predicament that he is in. First of all, it seems like people want to know why did he stay. And this is what he posted. The reason that he stayed he said that is not easy to leave circumstances and situations this is life and uncle sam is not trying to hear anything so you continue to go and be places you no longer want to be it's life and i'm truly sorry so in other words he's saying that he stayed because he had to pay the bills just as a lot of other people do this is what he did i mean there are a lot of people out there that are probably on jobs that they don't want to be on and they don't agree with what they have to do but they stay on the job because they have to pay the bills now you probably don't see anybody getting beat up on the job i'm just saying but you stay because you have to pay the bills so this is pretty much the reason that he's saying that he stays let's go ahead and take a look at another statement he posted on his instagram page that indicates why he's upset with p diddy he said at one time i would have taken I mean, there are grammatical errors on here, so try to follow me on this one. He said, at one time, I would have taken a bullet for this man, and those that know me know that's true. What happened? People say, yo, why are you saying that? Why are you doing this? One reason is because you can't do nothing else unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, so it appears he was afraid he was going to end up in jail? Maybe he felt that this was his only option. So anyway, he says, nobody worried about their kids when I had them. I mean, Mean nobody where is the loyalty at when it's my son you want me to have loyalty to someone who couldn't tell me here's a 100,000 I may not can go but I ran sure can make sure he has a legal team all right so there are some grammatical errors he goes on to say but I'll give some strangers three million F out of here my truth my story my life so it says shine Diddy Combs returns to Howard University to fulfill one million dollar pledge so i guess he's saying he's given one million dollars to howard university but he couldn't get one hundred thousand dollars to help his son in his legal woes and it says that diddy addresses diversity head on by investing two million dollars in eyl and jackson state on the same day but apparently he's out here investing money in universities millions of dollars but he couldn't invest one hundred thousand dollars to help this man out to get his son free so this is appears to be apparently what this man is upset about he's saying that he would have took a bullet for this man but this man wouldn't help him by giving money to help his legal team to help his son so on another post he says if the glove doesn't fit you must acquit unfortunately you will be found guilty if you can't pay for people with big names evidence doesn't matter i'm going to make sure he has a fighting chance hashtag justice for kevin so apparently kevin is his son so he says please help us have the legal professionals we need to even the playing field read up on Kayvon townsend in namibia
You can give proudly on GoFundMe and claim your donation next month on your taxes. So apparently his son is locked up in Nibia over in Africa as the P. Diddy donating to the legal fund to help get his son free. Apparently he is donating out there to colleges. Allegedly. Everything is allegedly. But this is what I'm getting out of this is what this man is upset about. So let's talk about what else he said in this new video that he has put out now. Well he is now saying that he's seen what happened but he just said it was just a regular fight between a man and a woman he said that he's gonna talk his truth he said i got a lot of blogs that's getting at me but like i know they're getting at me because of what i said about diddy what y'all don't know is i'm gonna speak my truth that's what y'all came here for i wanted to see how many people was gonna stop following me not he doing it all for clouds what important people was gonna stop following me and i seen it is what he says he goes on to say i've been fighting for my son's life for the last 10 years no responses no Nobody came to it. I said I'm going to tell my truth about Diddy and Cassie and everybody and their mother started following me. That ish is just crazy is what he said. He goes on to say, I said I'm going to tell my truth the other day about other people. I said how Puff got on my nerves and made me sick and I wanted to leave and y'all just ran with it. But see, I'm going to show y'all this ain't about money. This ain't about nothing. This is about the truth is what he said. Now I want to know if y'all can handle the truth. I seen Cassie and Diddy fight. Yeah, I seen them fight just like anybody else fights. Just like I fight, just like y'all fight with y'all man and y'all fight with your girl. So this is what he is now saying and he wants us to believe that it's not about the money. But you wanted to see how many followers you were going to get? But you just wanted to see what was going to happen? And you're talking about the followers you've been getting and the important people that have been following you? And now you have made your Instagram page private and where we was thinking about that you was Team Cassie, now it seems like you Team Diddy. And you say that it's not about the money, but you mentioned money, the money that was not spent on your son's defense. So let us know what you think about the situation. Although he's saying that it's not about the money, do you think that it is about the money we want to hear from you so maybe he did want to wait and see how the people would react because he didn't say what exactly he saw in his first post but now he makes it seem like it really wasn't all that much that he has seen just a hot mess so get your popcorns ready folks be ready for people to come out the woodworks thinking that they are saying something where they are team one person and then they flip the script for whatever reason allegedly as they say money talks but of course we don't know if he was given any money in this situation Situation. he said that it wasn't about the money so we don't know we can only speculate and assume and gives our opinions on the situation and why would he play with our emotions like this in such a serious situation just seems a little bit strange in my opinion how he was handing out millions of dollars to colleges was the implication which we're gonna play that part as well but now he's raising the temperature talking about he gonna see if we can handle the truth i mean what is really going on have you been paid out we want to know did you get that one hundred thousand dollars from p diddy are you planning to do like gene deal and write a book what is going on with mr roger bond inquiring people want to know of course these are all speculations and innuendo so everything is of course allegedly does seem suspect where it said where it seems like before he was going to be speaking up on behalf of cassie but now it seems like he may be more team diddy than team cassie i mean what do we just expect from him after all he was a bodyguard for p diddy and if he's seeing these things happen could he be considered legally responsible as well you know so maybe he has second thoughts about the entire situation but it does seem suspect that one day he could seem to be team cassie and then the next day he could seem to be team diddy which makes you wonder did diddy put some money in his pockets because he was upset about diddy not having his son defend himself it seems like he felt like diddy could have put up at least 100 grand for his defense team makes you wonder did he get that 100 grand so we really don't know what happened this is all speculation and innuendo so everything is of course allegedly but we want to hear from you what do you think about this does it say suspect to you or no make sure you leave a comment below and as always busy bodies thank you so very much for stopping by my page it's your girl liz keeping you in the know and these are just my thoughts and opinion and as i stated everything is allegedly and remember, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. You will be notified when my next video comes out. Make sure you come back and watch my next video. It's your girl Liz. Keeping up with the biz and I am out. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the beats. It's Liz with the beats. It's Liz with the beats.
Yo, this is Liz with the beers. This is Liz with the beers. Telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real. Cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beers.